Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2019 from Budapest, Hungary, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mark Frankopanola, who is the global head of Nokia Government Relations for Nokia. Mark, welcome to the studio. It's my pleasure. Now, I'd like to start off by uh, talking about uh, this event's theme. It's innov innovating together, connectivity that matters. What does that mean to you? Yeah, I think connectivity is, is absolutely critical, and especially with 5G. What we will see is that uh, we will get into a new phase of connectivity because you will see many new devices getting connected to each other, meaning that uh, we will have hundreds of thousands of devices actually per square kilometer that are going to be connected. And 5G is also bringing a number of other things. Um, if you look, for instance, at um, the capacity and the speed, uh, 4G at a certain stage will get saturated. So it's important that we get to the next stage of connectivity there. But even more importantly is the low latency that uh, 5G will bring. And the fact that um, reaction in real time will be possible, especially in industrial environments. And so um, having that low latency is important for productivity going forward. Uh, there are other things like, for instance, um, the, the, the different network slices that 5G will bring for operators, which is critical in order to bring return on investment for, for operators, as we all know that 5G brings huge investments. And then um, I would say also the, the lower cost of ownership, because the, the, cost, of, um, uh, the, the cost per bit uh, for 5G is actually far lower than previous technology. So all these things together will enable new use cases and uh, bring, um, uh, let's say, productivity, but also societal benefits uh, going forward. Perhaps we could talk about industry ecosystems and why they're important for the development of 5G. Yeah, if you look at um, the, the industry ecosystems, in fact, 5G will underpin uh, cross-sector digitalization. And so by definition, you are here in an ecosystem play. Um, if you look at uh, technologies before, so pre-5G digitalization, actually not so many industries benefited from, from digitalization. Uh, you had the entertainment industry with the, 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 you know, the, the, the films, the e-books, uh, the music which was being digitalized, uh, but also the financial sector. Uh, was uh, going to, di to be digitalized, but if you go to 5G, and especially because of the characteristics of 5G and the low latency, you actually get now the, the physical industries that, that, that can be digitalized. Um, and uh, the fact that uh, you, you get these physical industries digitalized can bring a huge amount of productivity benefits. Uh, you can see, for instance, that in the manufacturing sector, bringing the ICT together with the operation systems together uh, can actually bring, uh, also because of the low latency, uh, automated um, uh, features which, which are essential for the productivity of this sector. So I think by bringing all these industries together, you, you really get into a, a new play, which is important. And what are the most uh, important uh, government policy actions needed to enable 5G? Uh, and perhaps we could talk about a few associated use cases. Yeah, so um, there are a number of things. I think that, that we all know that, that uh, spectrum is critical for the 5G uh, networks to, to, to be built and to be operational. Um, so uh, more spectrum fast and also at, at, at a fair price. Um, if you look today uh, in Europe, for instance, uh, there is a lack of, of high band spectrum. Uh, in the US, mid band spectrum is critical, so there is still a lot to do there. Um, a second point uh, relates to incentivizing uh, infrastructure uh, investment and also making sure that, for instance, uh, small cells can be deployed in an easy way, but also fiber, because you know the, 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 the small cells that are needed for 5G are connected through fiber, so making sure that fiber can be installed in an easy and cost-effective way uh, is important. And then uh, data-friendly uh, policies are critical as well, because 5G is about a lot of exchange of data. We talk about the ecosystems, so making sure that uh, we have an um, uh, easy way of, of, of sharing data is, is important as well. And uh, finally, I wanted to ask you, uh, you've taken the time to be here, you're no stranger to ICU events, I wanted to ask you, what's the value of attending events for you, such as ITU Telecom World? Yeah, so uh, I've attended a couple of those events, and uh, it's always nice for the networking, of course. But more importantly, I think this year, uh, as 5G is not anymore around the corner, but is really here, is to exchange about the, the various use cases and uh, how various use cases are developing uh, around the world. Um, and, and also, I mean, uh, I think people might know that uh, 5G is indeed the fifth generation of, of connectivity technology for consumer application, but it's actually the first 
uh, generation for industrial applications. And so exchanging the way forward, what is available today, what will be available tomorrow is actually very helpful and uh, interesting in those events. Great. Well, thank you very much for being with us today. And uh, we hopefully will catch up with you again tomorrow or sometime in the future, I should say. And uh, as I say, very much uh, enjoyed uh, listening to some of these valuable insights this morning. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.